Hello, it's Ruby, and in today's video, I am finally going to be showing you my room decoration transformation video. So back in January, I decided I wanted to change up my room because it had been the same since I was 11, and I just feel like my taste had changed since then. It's not that I didn't like my room, I love how light and airy it is, but all of the furniture is very modern, which just isn't really in line with my tastes anymore. I much prefer old fashioned Victorian style things. And I had a massive double bed in the middle of the room. It took up pretty much all of the room and meant that I didn't have much space to play around with in my bedroom. So I do work out in my room, but I would be constricted to a very small space. I've been very lucky to have a double bed since I was 11, but I don't really make use of my double bed. And then I also really wanted to get a second bookshelf because my other one is beautiful, but I have a lot of books and I did want to put more on display in my bedroom. Okay, so the first thing was finding a new bed. As I say, I wanted to get a single bed and that was the first piece of furniture I looked for. I was looking for a Victorian antique single bed. It took a few weeks, but eventually I found the perfect one for 70 pounds. Okay, I have just bought a bed. I am so excited about this. This is my bed and I'm changing it for a single bed. It was like on a bidding thing and I've had the alarm on all day. It was listed for 70 pounds and because I was the only bidder, I got it for 70 pounds, which I think is really, really good. I'm very happy. The bed basically looks like this, but it's got the same, it's like an antique Victorian bed frame. And I really want to make my room a bit more old fashioned. Then the hard and exciting bit, actually putting the bed in, which involved disassembling my huge double bed Okay, so it's so dusty underneath the bed. You're gonna put that on your shoe with the dust. Yeah, realistic. Oh my gosh, it's like ridiculous. Yes, it was disgustingly dusty. The issue with this bed, there was no way that I could have moved it to clean underneath without disassembling it. And so it just hadn't been cleaned, which is really disgusting, I know. And I'm so glad that I've been able to clean it now and that my current bed is much easier to clean the underneath of. So dad and I just took that apart and took it out of my room. Okay, my room is now bedless and it feels so big. It's also really echoey, but I'm just gonna temporarily clear out this stuff from my room and I'll bring it back in when I have got everything clean. So then I just moved everything out of my room that had been under the bed or like around the sides. Okay, it's now time for the heavy duty cleaning. And then it was time to actually get started on cleaning. I picked up the largest dust bunnies and then I hoovered. Then I just used some warm water to wipe down the floor and also some wood cleaner. And I also cleaned the skirting boards. Okay, so then this is the old double bed frame and as you saw it was quite dirty so I just cleaned this with some warm soapy water. And then my dad and I put in and assembled the new single bed which is just beautiful and very very heavy as well. And then after that, I was able to make the bed for the first time, which I actually found very exciting. It's a lot easier to make a single bed than a double bed. I've got this beautiful throw cushion. Honestly, it is so, so pretty. I love this one, but it's been my only throw cushion for five years now, I think. I can't even eat custard creams because they're not vegan. And I do want to get another cushion. So today I'm finally gonna order one. I'm gonna order it from Etsy. I really want to get something plain, but kind of old fashioned. I just looked on Etsy until I found the perfect one and I love the one that I chose. Look as well, my cushion arrived. It's so cute, I love it. 
So now time for some finishing touches. I, I laid down this old cream fluffy bedspread that I had as a carpet. I also added this wooden coffee table. We've been waiting around for too long for something to show. And my dad handmade me this little bedside table for my water because I'd taken out my bedside table and I just wanted a surface to put my water glass on in the evenings. But we're not like them, we are better, both you and I know. Grab your car keys and jacket, cause honey, we're ready to go. Let's get in the car and you'll drive, we're leaving tonight. From these streets and the cold buzzing neon lights Been keeping our heads above water Struggling and striving We ain't gonna turn back this time We'll just keep driving You've got one hand on money One hand on the steering wheel World's passing by then finally, for finishing touches, my dad changed out the handles on my wardrobe for these metal decorative ones. Oh, and there was quite a lot of sorting and organising to do over the course of this redecoration project. So, now onto the really exciting bit. Okay, the bookshelf is so nearly done. Literally, I am obsessed with it. It's pretty much identical to the one that I already have but I love my bookshelf so much and so I'm so glad that it's identical. It's currently just in my parents' room, but this is what it looks like. And my dad really kindly painted this for me yesterday. I have decided to go for like just an undercoat of paint as opposed to the glossy paint on top, because that's what I have on my bookshelf at the moment and I actually really love the way it looks. This is where the shelves will go, so they will slot in. It's also absolutely massive, like I can't even reach it and six shelves for books. I can't wait to set it up. Okay, so bookshelves were put in. I obviously pulled back my rug whilst it was being done, so I'm just gonna pull that back now. Well, actually, I might give it a bit of a shake out because it's a little bit dirty. Whilst the bookshelf was put in, I had also put a sheet over my bed so that everything didn't get all dusty. Okay, look, here it is, the bookshelf. Oh, I love it so much. It's just been put in my room and honestly, it is just stunning. It's been like screwed into the wall as you can see, so it's not gonna fall on me, which is very useful. And yeah, I can't wait to set this up. And then I got to set up my bookshelf, which was so much fun. My next video will be me setting up the bookshelf. And then the very final thing that I did was just some cleaning. And okay, now the really exciting bit, I can show you the finished product and I love how it turned out so much. It's nicer than I ever could have expected it to be and it just feels so much more me than my old bedroom. Hello and welcome to my new bedroom. So this one is all pretty much the same. I've just got dressing gown and bags hanging up here. This wall is exactly the same as it was as well. I've just got some nice Polaroid photos hanging. But down here I have added a wash basin. I actually used to have a wash basin down here but um, took it out in like 2018. This stool is my mum's. So then here, this is a new addition. I used to have a bedside table here but my dad actually made me this little stand for um, keeping the things I need during the night. So I just got some water, hand cream, uh, this little pot with like, pens and pillow mist and things. And then above here, I've got some really nice postcards. So uh, this is a painting actually that my friend Andrea drew for me, which is really, really, really lovely. 
and my friend Molly made me this. So then we've got my wardrobe here, nothing has really changed. I've just added like my bonnet and diaries on top. My mum has just uh, very kindly informed me that that is not a bonnet, it is a boater. Um, got mistaken there. My boater is up there. So wardrobe here, um, actually my dad changed out the handles. They used to be like black wooden doorknobs, but these, my mum ordered too many of them, so I stole a few of them. Because you weren't going to use yeah, any of them, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, so then down here, I really, really like this. I've got this bust pot from Anthropology, and I'm using it to store all of my hair scrunchies. I just put this, like, twig in. If you can see, there's, like, a branch that I painted white. And I think it looks quite cool. I actually really like it. Uh, back here, I usually keep my yoga mat, but I, that's downstairs at the moment. This is the most exciting thing about my bedroom, and this is the newest edition. This is, like, the last thing that I was waiting on before filming this video. My new bookshelf. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to have this new bookshelf. And as I say, I will be sharing the bookshelf setup and tour in a separate video, just because otherwise it will be too long, this video. It's so fantastic to be able to display more of my books, because I do have quite a lot of books. So then, moving on to this wall, I used to have a scratch away map here, but instead I've got this poster which I got from Waterstones. I think it's by Calvini & Co. Then we have got my desk here. Not much has changed really at all. So I have got my armchair here. I use an armchair as my desk chair. I used to have this really uncomfortable white plastic chair but uh, this is the coziest thing and I really love just being able to like move it around. So uh, now that we've moved all the furniture around I have so much more space like I've got like so much space. Like, I can do yoga here or ballet. I've got my beautiful candlestick here. I found this in a charity shop for four pounds. Um, and also this is a matching pot with the other one that I've got the scrunchies in. Oh, always a mug of tea as well on the desk. Look, <laughs> this is a rose tea. Down here, I've just got a little letter organizer where, because I like to write lots of letters. And so these are letters I have got to post and these are letters to respond to. Great thing, this armchair is on wheels so I can just move it around as I said. Down here I've got my Edwardian writing scope and this is really, really cool. I store my letter writing supplies in it as you can see. So then I've got my mood board here and I've also started this thing where I, if I read something really nice, like a really lovely line in a book, I'll just write it up in fountain pen and stick it to the wall so I can read it whenever. So um, for example, I walked the beach under the paling stars of morning, which is from Walt Whitman's Song of Myself. Okay, so move the chair back so I can show you this bit. So um, I've got a table here. Okay, I love having this extra table. It's really versatile, so like sometimes I will move it here so I've got like extra desk space. Often I'll move it to the middle of the room and then I can like work here with the armchair or I can put it here. And then of course I've got my other bookshelf which I just think look, looks even better now that I've got the other one too because I've got this lovely, lovely shelf for all of my Charles Dickens books. And on top, as you can see, I've got my picnic basket. So then finally, we move on to the bed. Kind of the biggest change that like having a single bed is definitely what's allowed me to obviously maximize space so much. I feel like it's quite unusual to go from having like a double bed to a single bed. I don't need a, a double bed, like, um, it seems like it's using up a lot of room when actually I only use like a small section of the bed anyway so what's the point in having a double bed? This is a Victorian antique bed which is so cool which is the same bed as our spare bed actually and I found this for £70 on eBay if you have a look then you can find some really really nice beds like this on eBay. Yeah I absolutely love this bed and then above here I've just got this poster of a little princess and also this willow tree painting and yes that's kind of oh and I've just hung the like candle thing up here as well which I like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.